Welcome back. We now know the truth. Gwydion is actually Prince Alexander of Daventry, the son of King Graham and Queen Velenys. And it seems that his sister, the Princess Rosella, is being offered as a sacrifice to a three-headed dragon. And this, of course, we cannot abide. So we're going to have to uh, rescue her, because it seems nobody else in Daventry is capable of doing so. Which, of course, begs the question, how do we get to Daventry? Do we swim there? The magic map won't be any help, because all it shows is the uh, immediate surroundings. But we are still missing one of the spells. Um, we just got the final ingredient for that, actually. The Amber Stone we got from the uh, Oracle fits the uh, requirements for the uh, smooth, rounded stone of unusual color we need for the teleportation at random spell. So maybe we can randomly teleport to... Uh, Daventry. Unlikely, but anyway. But in order to cast that spell, we need to get back to the wizard's lab for the last time, which means we have to walk up um, this path for one final time. I don't think I've fallen yet here, have I? So let's see if I can keep that record or if this time I will not be so lucky. So far, so good. Oh, and by the way, this is not the last time we have to do something like this in this game. Even if, we, if it is the last time we are going up this path, Unfortunately, the remainder of the game has a couple more of these kinds of places. Made it! And that's the last time we need to do that, I do believe. You hear one chicken say to the other, I feel so sorry for the boy. The old wizard treats him miserably. Yes, dear, replies the other one. But you ought to worry about your own neck. Look at the situation we're in. Yeah. Well, I guess since the wizard is gone, they're... Well, they're probably going to die, because I'm not going to hang around here to feed them, either. Can I, uh... No, you can't leave the gate open <laughs> to set them free. Well, poor chickens. I hope, hopefully, they'll figure out what's happening and escape on their own. They seem to be pretty intelligent as far as chickens go, so... All right. Once more, into the laboratory. It would help if I could spell. <coughs> Inside, you find the wizard's magic wand. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. Although, for what reason, no one knows. Because the wizard is no longer alive. You push the large book aside, revealing a metal lever attached to the back of the bookshelf. Yes, we know this. A trapdoor opens, revealing steep stone steps leading into darkness. It's really quite hard to say, steep stone steps. Um, okay. No cats inside? There's two of them to worry about now. Although I don't think Banana actually shows up trying to trip you. Not that you can tell them apart anyway. They look identical. Okay, final spell. Teleportation at random on page 7. Um, and saving would be a good idea. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of the Sorcery of Old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in a proper way, in the proper sequence. 
you tremble in anticipation. Really, I'm just gonna kiss the stone. <laughs> Which is actually the uh, fourth step. A strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. And we keep poofing in and out of uh, existence. It appears that stone has a flaw. Strange that kissing the stone will only have this result if you're actually doing the spell, not uh, if you do it randomly. Okay, let's do that properly. Grind spoon of salt in mortar. You place a spoonful of coarse salt grains in the mortar. Then, using the stone pestle, you grind the salt until it is very fine. Grind mistletoe in mortar. Placing a dried sprig of mistletoe in the stone mortar, you crush it with the pestle. Soon you have a crushed mixture of salt and mistletoe in the mortar. You remove the pestle and lay it aside. Rub stone in mixture. You place the beautiful amber stone in the stone mortar. Very carefully, so as not to miss a single spot, you rub the amber stone around in a mixture of ground salt and mistletoe. When you have finished, you remove the amber stone and discard the remaining powder. Now we have to uh, kiss the stone, since that's the last step I actually want to save again. In case I get the inc incantation wrong. Smack! <laughs> okay, with this kiss, I the impart. Again, there is actually punctuation there, but you don't need to type that. Power most dear to my heart. Take me now from this place hither. To another place far thither. My THs are not that good, so that's a hard word to say for me. Wave the magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the encrusted amber stone. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Um, according to the manual, we now own a charm which will allow us to cast a random te teleportation spell. To cast the spell, erupt the stone. It will instantly whisk you away from where you are. To remain alert, however, even though you can use the spell to run away from danger, nothing guarantees that you will not arrive in a more precarious situation than the one you left. The power of the charm remains for as long as you retain the stone. It's too bad that nobody ever thought to bring this stone with them on any of the future adventures we're going to have. would have been useful. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. I'm coming off a cold, so you're just going to have to live with it. So we don't have to bother closing anything. And... Looks like the ship isn't there yet. Um, there... there Oh, chickens are speaking again. You overhear one of the hens speaking to the other. Whatever happens to your last batch of chicks, my dear? Answers the other. My poor babies were doing so well. I was just teaching them the proper methods of scratching when that old rascal came out and took them away. Why do you think he took them? Wondered the first hen. I hate to think, the distraught mother hen replies. I just heard them peeping as they were carried off. It's heartbreaking. We're actually uh, waiting for a ship at this point, and it will show up uh, here. But I think it will only show up after a certain amount of time has passed. And it will also leave again after a certain amount of time. It's another time thing. And if it shows up, I do believe you can see it from here, although I'm not entirely certain of that. Um, anyway, let's try our stone, just for fun. See if that can take us to Daventry. Nope! Took us to the kitchen.
Is it just gonna transport us up here? It looks like it. The stone will only really transport you in your um, immediate vicinity, and it seems that it doesn't like leaving the house if you're in the house. Fortunately, of course, we have a map. Which does allow us to teleport to other places. Such as the village. And so it shall be! Let's check the pier to make sure if there is not a ship here. Oh, there is! So apparently you can't see it from... Um, the house, or just showed up in the last minute. You can see it from here, I think. Yes, see? A big ship! There's a ship docked at the pier. Maybe it's a merchant ship. And maybe it is capable of giving us a ride to the um, Isle of Elias. Sorry, I mean Daventry. Let's check it out. The sandy beach stretches north and south below steep grassy cliffs. Okay. A large ship is tied to the dock. There's a man standing here. The life of a seaman has definitely taken its toll on this grizzled old sea dog. His skin is brown and cracked from years in the salty air. His voice rasps from too many smokes and too much run, rum. And he stoops from countless swabbings of countless decks. His clothes are not too clean either. I guess so. We talk to him. You politely speak to the old sailor on the dock. In response, he growls, Quit your rat yammering, boy. I ain't got no time for you. I gotta keep trespassers away from this here jolly boat. Scram! Okay. Um, request passage. Ask for passage. Passage? <laughs> Hmm. Well, that's not helpful. Apparently he's not the one in charge of this boat. I'm sure the masters of this vessel cannot be far away. And where would you go if you were a sailor, uh, having been out to sea for God knows how long? Why, to the local tavern, of course. And indeed, it seems that we have located the sailors. One of the rowdy seamen yells to the barmaid, Wench, come over here with more rum. Yep, we have located the uh, sailors. We'll see if we can get passage from them in the next video.